race eight is the Mount Nicholson Handicap. And in this race, we've got Invincible Missile at the top of the book, having his first start for Casper Founds. He's had one trial and ran second in that race. Casper's also taken the visor off and put the blinkers back on again. Beluga comes back in distance from the 18 to the 1400 metres. Lincoln Bright makes his Chartin debut. Kazi Ferrazi, a last start winner. He carries an extra seven pounds for that win track and distance. Orsain Bolt placed last two. Fantastic shows back in form. Leap of faith, big effort for a second behind Kazi Ferrazi last time. Pleasant Endeavour has his third start in class three. And Casemiro, wide draw again, but he does race well at Chartin. He's coming back in a trip, Tom. As we come across to the touch screen and have a look at the speed map for race number eight. I thought this looked a bit of a tricky speed map to try and sort out to Mark because there's not really a natural leader engaged to here. Uh, the map has got our creed going full, but I thought I've had to maybe an opinion, Paul, that they might try and roll forward on Leap of Faith from gate number 10, or there are potentially other options like Cheerful Days, and even Beluga has raced handy in the past too. Yeah, I think uh, Leap of Faith will be the one that will go um, forward, actually, and lead this. I mean, our creed's only had the one start, uh, and he, he was sort of wide there, and... Um, finished towards the back. He's drawn one, so that's why he'll be reasonably handy. Pleasant Endeavour won't be far away, and he's been running really well this season as well. I can see him getting uh, outside the leader. Kazi Farazi is another one that's gone forward in the past as well. So, uh, look, you're right. It's very variable, this speed map. Yeah, certainly could be some variation to this, but maybe leap of faith from gate number 10 to cross for Joe Marrera. Jerry Chow and Douglas White have been having a great couple of weeks, and uh, Jerry will team up for his boss in race number eight on Horsane Bolt. Jerry looks a nice time to be getting on an in-form Horsane Bolt. Yeah, he's a, a first time ride him and, and this two day track work I, I, I rode him and, and he's not a very easy horse to ride. He got some attitude and, and but, but he's a nice horse and he went close the last, last start and he got a nice nice draw and skate six and, and I think he will be be positive and try to get cover and yeah. You talk about his attitude, is that an in the barriers thing or just in the race in general? He's my, he, he's still young and, and, and sometimes feeling he won't take control and, and sometimes he, he does his own thinking and yeah, sometimes try to stop in the chat work but, but now it's much better now so I think he will improve. You were both happy, you and Douglas, with his track work when you rode him? Yeah sure, I'm, I'm very happy he, he not doing every uh, bad thing or all the good thing and he Im improve a lot and I think he will, he will have a good chance. Yeah. On yourself, another winner on Wednesday night. You're getting another step closer to that 50 for the season. Yeah, one more to 50. Hope can keep, um, keep have a winner and still got six more with meeting and hope, hope, yeah, and one more winner for my boss. Yeah. He's certainly been doing plenty of that in the recent weeks, Paul. What about Horsane Bolt in this race? How do you assess his chances? Yeah, I've got him in the numbers. I think Horsane Bolt's uh, found the right distance. He's run second at his last two starts here over the 1,400 metres at Chartin. So I think that's the ideal distance for him. He should get a nice enough run. He's had nine starts to date, so uh, he still hasn't broken through, but he's getting close. Yeah, no doubt. He's a horse, certainly, uh, that keeps on improving, and he has been knocking on the door in uh, recent runs. But I think there's a few others that might give him a run for his money here, so I left him out in the end. OK, let's uh, have a look at some of those others indeed Tom and we start here we're going back to the start of the race now this is uh, the race that's won by Kazi Ferrazi but we're highlighting fantastic show Tom and this has just been him the last two he can't go a yard early and he finished two starts to go to win down in grade and backed it up with a fifth in this race yeah look considering he's just been legless in his uh, early uh, speed in his recent starts he's uh, still made some good ground here down the outside you can see him uh, finishing off out wide a leap of faith was the one that uh, took the opportunity to take up that front running uh, position in the end was uh, run down by Kazi Ferrazi I've certainly got leap of faith in Paul I've left Kazi Ferrazi out and also fantastic show but fantastic show his starts have been really costly they have. Look, he's been on the cusp for me, but I'm, I agree with you. I just didn't quite get him in, but I, I agree. I have definitely got leap of faith in. He's working really well recently as well. Fantastic show from a similar draw than what he has had the last couple of starts. We move on to Pleasant Endeavour, Paul. He's been good enough to win a couple down in grade. He's had two starts in Class 3. Just 
taking some time to acclimatise up in grade perhaps? Yeah, but he's come out of some strong races. Like he drew wide when he first came up, so there was excuses there. And then he got uh, he finished off fourth here behind Speedy Mouse, which I think this is a really strong form race. Uh, the 1,400 metres uh, stepping up to here for the first time won't be a problem by reduced choice. And he's quite an honest horse. I quite like him in this race. Yeah, I've put him in as well. I think he's likely to get a good uh, run again. He raced in the one-back, one-out position last uh, time out. And I just like the way he stayed on at the end. So he's definitely in the numbers as uh, pleasant endeavour. Lovely style of a horse as well. Here's the stable change runner, Tom Invincible Missile. He's moved from Chris So to join Casper Founds. Just the one trial on the all-weather and were you taken by it? Yeah, I was. I'm going to make him uh, uh, the valley run on the programme. Look, he's won off a mark of 82 in the past. He's uh, here at 75. First to run for Casper Founds. He was ordinary last time out. Never got involved. It was deemed uh, unacceptable by the stewards. But like the way he finished off in this recent barrier trial, visor off, blinkers go back on. Karis Teton, Casper Founds. So so uh, don't mind him here, Paul. Yeah, look, the blinkers going back on, I think, will really help him. As you say, he's a well-rated horse now. He's got to carry the big weight with a slightly awkward draw, barrier eight. So, look, I didn't get him in the end, but uh, going to Casper Founds, Casper's uh, leading the premiership at the moment. And he's desperate for every win he can get to keep John Size at bay. So no number one for you, Paul. Who do you have in? I'm going to have one of the horses we looked at. I quite like Pleasant Endeavour. He comes in with a lightweight here. He is up in grade, but his two runs here I thought had been okay. The first one was uh, ex had excuses, and the second run he ran a nice fourth uh, in a strong form race. So from his draw, I think he'd be right on the pace. He's on top. Beluga, now he, talking about barrier draws, he's finally got a barrier draw, Beluga. He's drawn 11, 14, 13, 9, and 10. He's now drawn five. I think he'd be a little bit closer. I think he'll be in the finish. Leap of Faith uh, just got run down late last time. And Horse same bolt, we discussed him earlier on as well. So 11, 2, 10 and 7. Going with the top weight uh, here, Invincible Missile with the stable change, Blinkers going back on, uh, two of his three wins have been with the, the Blinkers, so we'll take a chance with him off the back of that trial there. Number 10, Leap of Faith, he's certainly one of the main dangers, Pleasant Endeavour, and Beluga, he went forward, uh, got up outside the leader, but dropped away a fair way from home last uh, start, and he's uh, had a recent trial up at uh, Chungfa, ran on late in that barrier trial for second, so 1, 10, 11 and 2.